Hey there, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make a cute scrappy bow that's full of little bits of scraps of fabric and thread. So let's go. In order to make this bow, I'm gonna be using a rectangle of cotton lawn, which is a really lightweight fabric. This measures seven by three inches, and you can tell that it's a little bit see-through. You could also use, I believe it's called wall or um, gauze or double gauze fabric. Anything that's gonna let some of the colors from the scraps sh uh, show through will work for this project. And then we'll also be using a little scrap rectangle that's about two by four inches for our bow. And then of course, we're gonna be using little different colored bits of thread and scraps of fabric. The first step is I'm gonna fold this rectangle in half lengthwise so that now it's about three and a half by 11 inches long. And then I'm gonna sew with a half inch seam allowance along this long raw edge. At the machine, I'm just gonna do a half inch seam allowance. And I wanna make sure to back stitch at the beginning and the end of my seam. Once it's sewn along that long edge, I'm gonna go ahead and turn it right side out. Give it a little shake. And now comes the fun part of filling it with bits. So I'm just gonna be grabbing little scraps of fabric. If they're really long, I'm gonna cut them to a shorter length. It just makes it a little bit easier to work with them. Like this one, it's a little bit long. I might cut that in half. And I'm just going to fill this up. So I'll check back in in a second. Once the tube is, is full, it's about a half inch thick with little scraps. I'm going to put a pin on this open end. I want that bottom seam more or less in the middle. I'm gonna put a pin here just to kind of keep my stuffing from coming out. And I'm gonna do the same thing on this end so that that bottom seam is more or less centered. I'm gonna put a pin here to keep that most of that stuffing from coming out. And then I'm gonna sew three lines lengthwise across the bow. I'm gonna start right about the middle of my bow, take that pin out, and I'm just gonna sew straight down. And take your time because you, can, you might hit spots where you have a lot of fabric. You just want to be gentle to force your needle into a big nest of knots and things. My first line is done. I'm going to add another one that's about three quarters of an inch away from that first one. Maybe, yeah, it's about three quarters of an inch. And then I'm gonna add just one more row. Again, about three quarters of an inch away from my first center row. Once I have those three rows, I'm gonna be bringing the raw short ends together and I'm gonna sew them with a half inch seam allowance. And then of course I'm gonna do a little back stitch at the beginning and the end of the So after I've trimmed off the extra fabric off of that last short seam, now we are almost done with the bow. I'm gonna fold my bow up so it looks more like a bow. And I'm gonna go ahead and sew a couple of stitches around the bow to hold it in place so that we can get our little center piece over the bow. So I have a needle threaded with a double strand. I just folded a strand over and tied a knot at the end. And I am going to fold up the bow, how I had it a second ago. And then I just want to do a couple of stitches to hold it together. And I'm gonna actually, I need a thimble for this. I'm gonna actually go around the bow a couple of times 
to hold it in place. Let me get a thimble. And I'm just gonna wrap my thread around a couple of times to help hold it in the middle. And then I'm gonna go through the center of my bow again. And then I'll just tie a little knot. And that'll make it easier to do the next part. Next, we're gonna take our two by four rectangle, fold it in half lengthwise, and sew with about a quarter of an inch seam allowance. I'm gonna grab a safety pin and turn my little tube right side out. I'm gonna do it gently. Then I'm gonna iron it so that the seam is on the bottom side of the little tube that we've made. So now we're ready to attach the centerpiece to the bow and all you got to do is lay it over that thread and then if you want you could try to sew this at your machine or I'm just going to do some hand sewing to sew the little centerpiece to itself. Once I finished sewing I went ahead and trimmed some of the extra fabric and now I'm going to decide where I want to put my bow. So if I'm using just a simple alligator clip, I don't have to sew it on, but if you're using a different kind of barrette, you might want to sew the bow in place or just use something where you can just slide it on over a headband or an alligator clip and your little scrappy bow is ready to go. I'm gonna to link to another video right here that shows you how to turn scraps of fabric into a headband. So check it out.